Hello students, my name is Manpreet Singh and today I am going to give a lecture on problems in CNC machine of mechanical branch number one. Let's start with parts of the components of CNC machines. What are the main parts is mechanical components, electrical components, pneumatic components and hydraulic components. Pneumatic components in which working medium is air. Working medium is air. And in hydraulic components, the working medium is oil. This is the main uh, basic difference between pneumatic and hydraulic components. Next, let's study the main parts and problems in mechanical system. Number one is bed, tail stock, head stock slideways, tool pallets and switches. First we discuss about the bed of the CNC machine. As we know that machine operates on very high RPM so there are two forces are acting on it. Number one is static force, number two is dynamic force. As we know that static force is a uh, force which is a uh, uh, static force which is applied to the constant stationary object. Static force applied to the stationary stationary object is called static forces. What are the dynamic forces? Dynamic forces are due to are due to the motion of the mechanism are due to the motion of mechanism. Okay, then the machine bed tend to deform the table leading error up to 40 micro mm, which is caused by the heat effects produced and causing misalignment and so what are the remedies a mild steel structure used, used with high stiffness what is stiffness what is the meaning of stiffness here it resists the it resists deformation to the applied force to the applied force and symmetrical designs can be used a machine can be installed uh, a machine can be installed where air conditions air condition should be installed with the machine okay this is the I will show you the examples of uh, this is the design of unsymmetrical this is the design of symmetrical symmetrical having similar face or unsymmetrical which is we know that we machined this type of uh, uh, unsymmetrical parts on BMC which is having X, Y and Z axis and the symmetrical parts are always machined on CNC turning lathes which is having x and z axis y is not there and next here slide is the stick and slip motion it prevents the smooth starting the stick and slip motion prevents the smooth starting and caused wear and tear due to this misalignment cost which affects the accuracy and finish. To solve this problem, third sight liners are pasted to form anti-stick slip liners. Third sight liners are Turo sight liners are thermoplastic material are thermoplastic material 
or we can use used wall bearing guides ways to reduce the friction uh, almost to zero and but it is only suitable for short and medium lengths okay plastic material are used to coat it on slide ways to maintain a positive contact and uh, to maintain a positive contact and maintain the alignment like this this is here uh, plastic coated material on the slide base to maintain the positive contact and to prevent the misalignment next is the mechanical switches the main problems are alignment is incorrect the dirt and foreign matter between contacts this can be prevented by providing or installing the machine in a free dust environment or it should be properly covered with glasses where the machine is to be installed it should be covered with glasses next problems and components in electrical system switching devices these components are relays or solid state switches like diodes and transistors solenoids are used to actuate a hydraulic and pneumatic valve for coolant or even for the drive system for coolant or even for the drive system we can use these solenoids drive system as we know that some type of motors can be used to drive the machine that is called drive systems but normally we can use dc motors are used why we used dc motor because this cnc needs already precise positioning control with gradual acceleration and deacceleration only way to use dc with servo mechanism which gives the feedback to desired control but control motors are uh, but dc motors are insufficient uh, insufficient for producing high torques at low speeds instead of dc motor stepper motor can be used but they have same problem they cannot be used at high speeds as we know that there are uh, dc motors are those in which armature armature is rotating inside the permanent magnets and induction motor induction motor having two parts starter or rotor and magnetic field is developed field is developed when the when current is flow when current is flow through this okay here some i will show you these figures this is the dc motor this is single phase induction motor this is the stepper motor okay next pneumatic systems are those which are driven by the air pressure it consists of three parts number one is cylinder piston and valves the main problem is the compressibility of air so we can use a regulator to expand and stored air to work properly as we know that uh, cnc machine always needs uh, need the compressed air for their operations next there are some common faults and remedies first is the sensor if there is a fault in the measurement system then just do the simple thing just uh, do the simple thing replace the sensor faulty sensor with the new sensor and if the reading uh, is uh, uh, if the reading is uh, correct then your sensor is at fault if the if they give the same reading then there is no fault in your sensor 
just check the voltage and current sources if there is a electrical continuity in electrical system specified by the manufacturer data. Next is the switches and relays. The main source of malfunctioning of the uh, mechanical switches only due to the presence of dirt particles or waste material between the contacts of the switches. So the simple is we can use voltmeter to check this fault. Motors. A regular maintenance of DC and AC motors like proper lubrication. If we do not do the proper lubrication or uh, do not maintain the motors uh, then it will uh, uh, then the machine will be uh, uh, do not work properly. When the brushes of DC motor uh, wear and tear, then change the brushes of DC motor. But setting of new brushes only accordance with the manufacturer data. If single phased AC motor is quite difficult in starting, then it needs a new capacitor and replace the capacitor with the faulty capacitor. If we don't use DC and AC motors, instead of this we can use three phase induction motor which do not have no brushes and a capacitor. The only thing is that it needs a regular maintenance and proper lubrication of the motor. And there are some faults in hydraulic and pneumatic system also. The most common fault is due to the dirt or dust particles which blocked the orifice and damage to the seals so it can be regularly checked and cleaned and repair the components. If we dismantle the components, always dismantle the components in a dust free area so that it do not uh, stick to the part. Uh, uh, stick to the part and again damage the seals. So uh, the main problem is only due to the loose fittings of the pipes or valves. So leaks in hoses, pipes and fittings are common faults and can be done by, by tightening the valves or pipe fittings. Next, why we maintain the, uh, why, uh, the main objectives of the preventive maintenance of CNC machine are number one to maximize the availability of the machine why we should need maximum time the CNC machine because it provides us accuracy quality and decreases the lead time and it uh, and do the work at time and minimize the downtime of machine as this is a costly and time taking process maintain the positioning accuracy increase the service life of the machine if we maintain the machine at regular intervals there are three types of preventive maintenance programs. Number one is the daily schedule. Daily schedule oil checks regularly at various locations where uh, are to be carried out daily. It is a good practice to clear the machine base uh, thoroughly and oil them at the end of at the end of day's work. The hydraulic oil and pneumatic pressure should be checked regularly. It all comes in the daily schedule. Next is the weekly schedule. This emphasizes on checking abnormal equipment performance, visual checks for oil level and cleanliness of the filter. It is a good practice if we set apart at least half a shift at the end of every week to clean up and check the machine completely and checks can made in tool change if there is a, 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 a wear and tear in tool we can change the tool 
okay this uh, will take uh, as machine take loads when the tool like uh, when tool is a uh, uh, wear and tear and timetable the and regulation of spindle speed etc next third one is the monthly schedule this may include this only due to the uh, this uh, schedule can be carried by the actions indicated by the manufacturers this include frequency of oil changes okay the uh, manufacturer recommended after one month we have to change the uh, oil so we have to change that oil uh, before one month or uh, within one month checking the and changing of filters changing a uh, change of brushes in motors alignment of the check the alignment of the machine okay cleaning of uh, coolant equipment coolant equipment and setting pressure switches and regulators so this is the uh, i have completed this chapter uh, problems in cnc machine and their preventive maintenance so there are three assignment questions for you you can do these questions okay and if you find any problem then you can call me i will uh, you can call me okay so thank you stay home stay safe